Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So, the snow was supposed to start at like 5, 6 a.m. It didn't start here till about 8 a.m. And really didn't do much for a little while. So now it's closer to probably what, about 11? I don't even know. What, yeah, I think it is. Probably closer yep. to about 11. 11 yep. to be exact. There you go. But uh, we're at our mark now where we need to start getting ready to uh, roll out here. Waiting on my nephew to come. He's going to come do some plowing for us because we do have a little uh, vacation coming up. So he'll be taking care of that while we're gone. So we're going to get him some more plowing experience. He does not like to be on camera, I'll be honest with you. So uh, don't know how much we'll show of him, but I'll get some shots of him doing a little plowing and uh, critiquing him and helping him a little bit with stuff. But uh, enough chit-chatting, TQ. And yip-yapping. Let's get to work. Let's go. Alrighty. Time to rock and roll. Let's go, baby. Pins in the pocket. Don't want to lose those. Somebody told me the other day, you guys are crazy. You guys, mu you guys must be crazy to do that stuff. Well, probably. But it is fun and you get to make money doing it. Now, don't get me wrong, but I'd much rather be sitting on a beach, <laughs> probably. But you know what? This work might allow me to be able to do that someday, maybe when I retire or sooner.
Pop. Yep, right there. Savannah's teaching my nephew how to plow over here. Just uh, he did it last year for us a couple times. It's just really helping him hone in those skills when we can. Big storms, not a good time to train. Get some. Are you guys having as much fun as we are? Nothing better than super cold temperatures, beautiful white snow falling from the sky, which means that green stuff, money. So basically she's just explaining, you know, how to angle the plow. I know sometimes on video, it might not seem why we're doing certain things but a lot of times it's just tq and i so we're doing scoop mode 
because typically we'll have to like set the camera up in one spot on the tripod scoop it towards the camera on purpose really just to get you guys shots goes austin so uh yeah sometimes we just do it for the shot a lot of times what we'll do is you guys might not notice it but there'll be a row of cars here or a row of cars over here and we actually have them move them throughout the storm just so we can stay you know keep things cleaner a lot easier so when they come out on lunch breaks or whatever every few hours uh you know we'll have them move their cars or whatever it's not a big deal they're typically sitting in their cars anyways but uh the biggest thing here is we don't want to hit anything and we have zero room here guys so there's zero room for mistakes okay you do not want to make mistakes on commercial properties like this it costs money it costs time and it can cost you accounts as well so so i think i missed that shot <laughs> so it's currently sunday here and first shift for a midnight doesn't come in until typically i think like five or six ish so we have to just have this managed or under control by then if you know what i'm saying so a zero tolerance lot guys basically means if temperatures are below freezing and the ground is wet we have to start applying salt once we start hitting inch marks on snow a couple inches or so then we start plowing it just becomes more price manageable to plow it okay so then once we're done if you can see right now we're not laying any salt once we have this storm under control or it's really at the point where it's uh not going to really lay much more down we'll go ahead and start applying salt or unless we have employees here we'll give them something they can walk on the last thing you want is an employee slipping a customer coming here slipping ups packages amazon uh food deliveries you name it it happens here every day all day long okay so uh zero tolerance lots are the lots that you want but they're also very very time consuming okay so once we're here we're pretty much here okay until we have this thing really really under control which can be accomplished with plowing and salting so we're going to do our first pass here get it nice and clean see how much longer the storm's going to go not all storms last as long as what they say not all storms uh, are as short as what they say so sometimes they surprise you so TQ is going to continue teaching. I'm going to go over here and start cleaning out bay areas with the plow, the uh, multi-force. It's just easier that way. But uh, yeah, let's keep rocking. Bye-bye. Hey, send me what headset that is. All right, guys. Here's my buddy Austin rolling out of here. We're still working on it. Really what I wanted to focus on today was just getting my nephew a little bit more aware with where to move the snow here this is a difficult account guys i mean difficult account but uh the main focus here right now is to teach him how to plow this lot out the best way you possibly can which is not easy by any means so uh we're gonna keep working at it here coming down we're gonna get the trailer off the 16 so she can help out this is a wet slushy mess right here
Having fun, PQ? PQ. I am having fun. So we don't know. She was doing a, a shot on top of her head while she was plowing. Not sure if that one came out or not, though, because when I got the camera, it said it was in hyperlapse. So that'd probably make you guys a little dizzy. But if not, uh, sorry. We'll... Let's see if I can back drag any of this. Nephew's up front. TQ is going to cut this drive in here. So this is going to be where the new exit is for the new building, I believe. I, I really honestly don't know the full details, but I do know they put a new road in here for to alleviate parking out back here. So the employees can come out here and go out to the road and out. I do know one thing, we are running out of room to put snow. Might be uh, bringing the skid steer out here to uh, make some piles a little bit better, I guess you could say. I'm just happy the 16 is doing good. So, been running now about an hour and a half, two hours, and uh, Everything's looking as normal, which is great, but it is supposed to go in tomorrow morning uh, Depending on how the storm goes We'll uh, see if I have to cancel that or not. I'm really hoping to not have to So that's pretty much what you want you want to try not to grab too much gravel but you want to try to grab as much snow as you possibly can. All right, guys, just filled both trucks up real quick. Came to just under a couple hundred dollars. But we're gonna move on to our next location here. And then uh, we have a salt appointment at four o'clock. So we'll have to uh, make sure we meet that one. And then TQ and myself, my nephew's got some uh, stuff already planned for tonight. Uh, so he's not able to work all night tonight, but hey, we appreciate what he's doing for us, right? Absolutely. Good job, Kyle. <laughs> we appreciate it. Anyways, though, uh, we're going to get what we can done. I got to get my seatbelt on, get a drink here, and uh, we're going to move on to our next location here real quick. Having fun? I am. I am having loads of fun. Climb the mountain. that dip he gets.
burying me in up here. <laughs> working out really well it is so I wind rode it all he's just coming through cleaning up my extra <laughs> you're extra my extra you're I'm so a, extra I'm extra today <laughs> looks good though way faster with two than with one yeah guys decided i'd get out here and climb a mountain for you give tq some plow time this stuff is block of ice now it'll be here till springtime so we're just coming right up to the back side of these trailers is our half here this whole half out back here we're just kind of starting to run out of room like we've made these piles no joke probably 12 15 foot tall now a little bit more here I don't mind going a little bit slower over here. My nephew's doing just fine. Just don't want to hit trucks for one. And also, we're not rushing right now. This storm's going to be ending here probably about 6, 7 o'clock or about 4 o'clock right now.
So I will say my buddy Austin that stopped earlier, he has some really sweet headsets. Uh, he sent over a link. So I'm going to look into picking those up so we can communicate. So our unofficial communication is if somebody beeps, the other truck stops. So if TQ beeps, he stops. If he beeps, TQ stops. So this is just a little bit of cleanup left here and then uh, it'll be getting a lot of salt. I think we're good. Maybe do one more swipe right behind those trucks a little bit more, a couple more. All right, so I told them both the to scoop mode. Uh, just really for the shot here. Uh, I typically was wind rowing. He was coming in and cleaning up the the excess from the wind row. But TQ's got a few more spots here. And uh, we're going to be good to go. Just right here behind this truck, a couple spots. get down here without uh falling Ooh. so you just gotta hop like a bunny Ooh. Ooh. learn that from skiing that i've never done watching skiers <laughs> good job Right, guys i'm gonna start transferring files i hope you guys enjoyed what we could get for you today more of training day but also getting work done as always guys keep plowing keep salting keep making money boys talk to you later Woo. let me in the trunk it's cold <laughs>